All right, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, number 10 from the review. Just like before, I'll put the uh, full question in the description too. So a uh, pretzel maker forms dough into a cylinder. As he rolls it, if the length is increasing at a rate of 0.5 centimeters per second, find the rate at which the radius is changing when the radius is one centimeter and the length is five centimeters. Okay, so we've got ourselves a cylinder. Okay, we've got a let's see radius of one centimeter length of five centimeters, and our length is changing at a rate of. Five uh, centimeters per second. Okay, so what we're going to do is recognize here that we have a constant volume. In other words, our volume isn't changing because we're dealing with dough. Um, so that'll make uh, make things a little easier for us in general. So I know that the volume of a cylinder is going to be r squared times height. And just in this case, right, height is referring to sort of our length. It's the same measurement. All right, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time. We're going to have to do a little, little chain rule here. Not chain rule, sorry. We're going to have to do a little product rule here. Uh, so pi r squared times dh dt plus h times 2 pi r dr dt. Okay. So what we're then going to be able to do is say, again, the amount of dough we have is constant. It doesn't change. So our rate of change of volume is just going to be 0, which is very helpful. OK, I'm going to go ahead and fill in now what we know. Okay. Our radius is, of course, just 1. The HDT is 0.5, and I'm going to write this as 1 half, just prefer fractions, and plus height again, let's see, plus height is 5 times 2 pi, radius is again 1. And drdt, we don't know. All right, so just going to go ahead and swap this uh, term over to the opposite side. So we've got pi negative pi over two. One doesn't really matter there. Okay, negative pi over two equals ten pi dr dt. Okay, we've got a pi on both sides. Get rid of that. Divide both sides by ten. So negative one half divided by ten is negative one over twenty. Uh, and that is going to be centimeters, let's put that in there, centimeters per second, 
or negative 0 0.05 centimeters per second. And that is it.